All right, so here's what we got going on. We have a goat that is about ready to kid. Our first kidding on the homestead. And so, I really gotta get the goat's area prepared where we used to milk. Um, we've been moving her around with the cow now, but now I gotta get her set up a little birthing suite. So we're gonna work on that today. We're gonna get cleared out, get a comfortable place for her to kid, and just let her do her thing. Go Bambi, go. All right, Bambi is in her nursery. She's not showing a lot of signs. Or I guess her udder is, her udder is definitely filling up. Yeah. And she's, her dude, baby goat yet? no, her udder is quite massive. <laughs> so we're just gonna feed her, you know like how pregnant people eat ice in cups when they're <laughs> pregnant or in labor? So this is like a goat popsicle. Okay. You're gonna feed her, hand feed her Until branches. Until she has her child. You know, nothing else to do around here except hand feed goats. <laughs> you guys haven't met my uh, my brother. I A lot of people have asked about the random man that's been hanging out at our homestead. And this random man back here is not random at all. He's actually my little brother. Good and morning. He, he has moved to our property and he is building himself a tiny house. You might be able to see it. A bit. It's up there. Anyways, he's the man that lives in the woods on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby brother. It was pretty awesome yesterday when we moved this goat. It was a pregnant goat leading a pregnant lady up a hill. <laughs> the funny thing is is that Bambi knew right where she was going. Yeah, it I think was weird. she knows that this is her her nursery. A birthing suite is what it's called, actually. Oh, sorry, a, a birthing, birthing suite. And this was the first place we took her when she came to our property. And so she's like, ah, I know where that is. She, I think she knows she gets fed there, too. <laughs> That's true. She's Very guided good. by food. But she also just wanted, like, yesterday, she just wanted to cruise with us. She is very pregnant. Yeah. How many things she has in there? I hope she has two. I hope so, too. I'd be surprised if she didn't have two. That udder is humongous. I know. Yeah, this is Massive. Be any day now. Bambi is an alpine goat. And we bred her with a Nubian. So her babies, or baby, will be a blend of a Nubian and an alpine. Do you think that it'll have those adorable flappy ears? <laughs> I don't know. They might have like a mix. It might be like halfway floppy. Bambi is a sweetheart. Bambi loves people. What? Wow. Oh, she wants love. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> this is the most love you've ever wanted. Baby and I kind of have a love-hate relationship. I have to tell her what's up. Well, that's because she's stubborn. and She is stubborn. Watch out, those pigs are eat you. <laughs> Good morning, pigs. Oh, they know. Yeah. You've trained them. I keep them free. Are you, are you trying to make them like you now? Kind of keep them off, out in their cages, so that I don't have to chase them around. <laughs> I think the, the goat wants one too. I mean, that udder's bigger than my head. You don't try to get out. You can have lots of these. So Bambi is a seasoned vet, and that is partially why we bought her. Yeah. Because she has either six or seven years under her belt of kidding. And she's been a champ through it all. And she even had three last time. Yeah. Apparently she's had three a couple times. Triplets. If there's triplets, then we have to milk. We have a bottle feed a little, huh? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Oh, tasty. Okay, so this is Bambi's birthing suite. Got the hay feeder still set up. Water. Mineral bar. Nice cozy bed. And... And it's dry. It's very dry. And if it happens at night, we got solar lights. We've got all the birthing and emergency gear. Hopefully we will not have to use anything. I'm hoping I can return it all. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So hopefully this goes by without a hitch. Huh, what do you think, Bambi? You know what you're doing, huh? Yeah, she's like, just get out of my way and let me do it. 
you were really good about teaching us how to milk. So maybe you'll be really good teaching us how goat births go. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? Nice. What do we got going on? <laughs> my husband is special. He wants this to say Goatlandia. It's been a dream of my whole life to have a Goatlandia. You know how dorky this is? It's fantastic. Do you know <laughs> how dorky this is? Yeah, but we can color over it after. Why if it turns into like Piglandia. All right, Ben. Ooh, it's looking good. We have more help here. Grandma Kathy's here to visit us. Purple. It's her birthday. Oh, Happy birthday, Grandma yes, Kathy. I'm 50 today. I just love it. 58. I can't oh, believe yeah. it. And look at that. Beautiful purple. I mean, sometimes the homestead is about the fun, too. Okay. And Goatlandia In is cursive. Fun. Ben wanted it. Purple cursive. Let's be specific here. Sometimes the 1% better is just making a gate that works. See how magical this is? Wow. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ooh, ah. Oh, that's so nice. You know, I could just like go in there, like mm. one handed. Look at this. Yep. I could just do this all day. Golandia, welcome to Golandia. It's our theme park. Oh, jeez. Look at oh. Ooh. Ah. She likes you being by here right now when she's getting ready. She keeps nuzzling up against me and licking me. <laughs> I think, like I said, I've said before, I think she's definitely a pet. She was mm -hmm. definitely treated like a pet. And so I think that me being here and comforting her, she is, I think she likes that. Yeah. Because she was crying for me. <laughs> she was looking at me and crying out. That's funny. Are you ready, Bambi? She's definitely uncomfortable. Her ligaments are completely uh, gone. I didn't. That was one thing I didn't know if I was going to be able to feel. But you could fi fi figure it out. Yes. And as nerve-wracking as this is, I have done research, and you know, everybody's got to have a first time. <laughs> so here it is. It's not her first time. So not her first rodeo. She is a she is a seasoned vet. But um, anyways, ligaments are gone. Udder is completely full. Mm. Like this girl is full. <laughs> and now we're seeing some mucus. So, and I, I'm pretty sure I've been able to recognize um, contractions, but nothing showing yet. So. Okay. <laughs> Just time. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this up here. Come on. Let's do this up here. That'll be a lot better. <laughs> Is there a baby coming out of there? Do you know this? Oh, that hurts, huh? Jesus, please help everything to go how it's supposed to go. Oh, oh it's coming out. It's coming out. It's alive. It's alive. It's hard. It's breathing. Oh, it's breathing. There we go. There we go, Mama. Oh, she's in the dirt. Is that okay? Oh, pull it out of the dirt, maybe? Back here? Just holding on to it. Get its face swiped. Oh, there we go, baby. Now I, I got breathe. its face. Now you can breathe. Almost. Oh my gosh, it has Nubian ears. 
Now you can breathe. There you go. Is that more? Good job, Bambi. It's got Nubian ears. It's so little. Yeah, she's looks like she's pushing out. Another bag coming. Another bag coming. So the next push that threats are all come out of it. No, baby, out. She is. Piss, piss, piss. Oh, Malia's going to get first. Piss. 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 <laughs> It's who who? Who mommy? Yep. And why? And why is who cleaning her? Because she's cleaning her. What's her tongue? She's trying to stand up for her. Oh my gosh, that was so much bigger. <laughs> now her has two babies. <laughs> now her has two babies. <laughs> no! Jeez, woman, Sister's coming out. What's the next one? We did it. 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 My guess is one girl and two boys. You did great. Good job, Bambi. No, that, one, that went great, thank you, God. And people, you know what? Man, I open it. And that no. one came out backwards, and it was okay. Yeah, I mean, she just knew what she was doing. This one has white ears like your dad's daddy. Uh, I think those She's two are bullies. <laughs> those two are bullies. That one is a boy. Is that what you think? Yeah. That's you. That's not a baby. Just making sure. Just making sure. There's so much to do. That's a girl. Really? The big one? I think so, yeah. <laughs> That's a girl, I think. A big one. Or I could just be wrong. <laughs> That's a boy. Two girls and a boy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I want chocolate. You make chocolate.
All three of them up on their feet. It looks like we have two does. The first two born. Ben has been checking. He thinks they're both does. And the third one much bigger. Actually the second and the third were much bigger. But the second one he says is a girl. So that first one might just be teeny. They're all trying to find where to nurse. Good job, Mama. Good job, Mama. Really cute. It was loving on Mabel. But now she wants to try this. She's really. She actually likes me. Mm -hmm. She would lay down on me She's if she had to. Right now, which is good. <gasps> that one's coming to me. Are you interested in me? Like your sister? Yeah. All she has to do is lay down. Do that. Do that. Do that. You want to learn to drink your mommy's milk? Walking right in front of me. Is that baby milking? Yeah, she's doing it. Um, she can't get, she hasn't gotten down to it to find it by herself, but now that she's latching on, I think that she gets it enough to maybe like, if I let go, she could find it herself. Mm. Now, if she could get it by herself. That's and then show the other ones how to do it? <laughs> Find it. It's mama's leg. Come up to the other. Whoa. Maybe get down lower. Introduce the girls. Hi, guys. <laughs> So we'd like to introduce you to Ginger, Chloe, little boy, Nutmeg, and this is Nutmeg. Can you bring her a little closer? And Nutmeg. Goldie. A little nutmeg. Look at Gingy. They're so cute. 